Think Canada is all maple forests and frosty peaks? Look closer. Those mountains hide some of the most underrated volcanoes on Earth. Western Canada sits squarely on the Pacific Ring of Fire. More than 50 cones, craters, and lava fields stretch from Vancouver Island to the Yukon, each capable of rewriting the skyline overnight. In this deep dive, we'll map the active zones, replay the blasts that shook the past, and spotlight the one volcano most likely to hit Canadian cities hardest right now. Expect rapid-fire facts, eye-opening visuals, and a reality check on just how ready we really are. And remember, in geological time, overdue can mean later today. Curious? Smash subscribe to Beyond Atlas, explore and ride the geothrill with us. Slide a finger along the Pacific coastline from Vancouver down to California, and you're tracing the Ring of Fire, Earth's most notorious tectonic clash zone. Canada owns a northern slice of that ring, where the Juan de Fuca plate dives under the continent like a slow-motion car crash, feeding magma to a chain of restless peaks. Head east of the Rockies and the story cools off. Ontario and Quebec showcase billion-year-old lava plateaus now draped in forests, while Nunavut hides vast basalt fields frozen under tundra. They're geological museums, not active threats. Spectacular to study, harmless to cities. Garibaldi Volcanic Belt runs north of Whistler, home to snow glaze strata volcanoes like Mount Garibaldi and Mount Meager. Wells Grey Clearwater Field, a basalt playground east of the Caribou Mountains, think shield volcanoes and lava plateaus. Stikine Volcanic Belt, northern BC's rugged frontier, includes the ice-capped Mount Edziza complex. Anahim Volcanic Belt, a hotspot track cutting straight across central BC. Rainbow Range and Nazco Cone headline here. Wrangell Belt straddles the Yukon-Alaska line. Colossal shield volcanoes such as Mount Wrangell loom in this polar skyline. Most of these zones haven't hiccuped in centuries, but in geologic time that's the blink of an eye. Pressure is still building deep below, and every seismic shiver reminds scientists that the next chapter is unwritten. A century and a half ago, near the Alaska-BC border, Lava Fork upended the wilderness with a curtain of red-hot basalt. Rivers hissed, old-growth spruce vanished under fresh rock, and ash dusted villages 50 kilometers away. It's Canada's most recent confirmed blast, proof that the fuse is still lit, even if it burns slow. Picture a skyscraper-high column of ash jetting skyward, then racing downhill as searing pyroclastic avalanches. That was Mount Meager's last temper tantrum, the largest in the past 10,000 years. Debris barrels 25 kilometers down the Lillooet River Valley, ash settled as far east as Alberta. If Meager repeats that stunt today, Whistler's ski runs and Vancouver's airspace could be choked in hours. No fireworks, just invisible doom. Tsiak's oozed lava across the Nass River, but the real tragedy came from CO2 pooling in lowlands, like a toxic fog. Oral histories tell of three Niskar villages suffocated in the night, around 2,000 lives lost, making it Canada's deadliest volcanic disaster. Modern sensors can sniff out gas plumes early. In the 18th century, there was only darkness and silence. Recent massive or lethal, each eruption underlines the same lesson. Canadian volcanoes may nap for centuries, yet when they wake, the fallout spreads fast and far. Geological memory is long, civic memory is short. 60 kilometers northeast of Whistler, the ice-crowned Meager Massif sprawls over a labyrinth of fault lines. Its last VEI-5 blast, two 350 years ago, was Canada's own Mount St. Helens moment, and the mountain hasn't exactly calmed down since. Steaming vents still seep through the glacier, landslides peel off its flanks, and a brand new multi-sensor network now watches every tremor and temperature spike in real-time slrd.bc.ca. One good jolt could liquefy ice into lahars that gun-barrel down the Lillooet River Valley toward Pemberton 
and the sea to sky corridor. Vancouver? It's far enough to dodge lava, yet close enough that an ash cloud could ground flights and darken skylines within hours. Hop 25 kilometers south of the BC Washington line and you hit Baker, a snow stacked stratovolcano with more glacier ice than every Cascades neighbor except Rainier. Its explosive resume is modest, no big eruption since 4000 BCE, but the real threat is ice plus gravity. If magma punches through, meltwater charged lahars could sprint straight into the Fraser Valley's floodplain, home to Abbotsford's farmland, Surrey's suburbs, and Metro Vancouver's power grid. Even without a boom, Baker's fumaroles burp sulfur and steam year round, reminding locals the engine is idling. The good news? As of June 2025, the USGS lists Baker at background level. No unusual quakes, no swelling slopes volcanoes. USGS.gov. Yet background doesn't equal benign. It simply means we're on the clock with no ticking sounds, yet. Metric. Distance to major population center. Recent monitoring upgrades. Key hazards likely lead time. Mount Meager, Iforsadila, 60 kilometers to Whistler, Pemberton. Iforsadila, 150 kilometers to Vancouver. Yes, new seismic, GPS, and gas array, 2024. Pyroclastics, Lahars, sector collapse, ash. Days to weeks, seismic unrest plus gas. Mount Baker, Iforsadila, 45 kilometers to Abbotsford, if force a dialer 90 kilometers to Vancouver. Continuous USGS network. Mass ice lahars, debris flows, ash. Days to weeks, similar precursors. Meager sits inside Canada's borders and has the flashier blast history. But Baker sits closer to Canada's biggest urban sprawl and carries a glacial arsenal large enough to weaponize even a small eruption in a risk calculation that weighs population, infrastructure, and lahar pathways. Baker edges ahead, setting the stage for our deeper dive into why it's the number one threat. Mount Baker, Paxiforsadila, 1.8 kilometers cubic cubic, two cubit of snow and ice, more than every other cascade volcano except Rainier. Melt that in a hurry, and you unleash torrents of mud, the consistency of wet concrete. The Nooksack River Corridor funnels those lahars straight toward the Fraser Valley. At Everson, Washington, the flow can jump a low divide into the Sumas River and flood Abbotsford Sumas Prairie within hours. That prairie is BC's agricultural heart, studded with dairy barns, greenhouses, Highway 1, and a cross-border pipeline. One muddy wall of water away from gridlock, the Fraser Valley Regional District now tops 360,000 residents and is growing at orbitedly 2% a year. Add Metro Vancouver's 2.8 million just downriver and you have the densest population cluster anywhere near an active cascade volcano. A Mega-style blast would rattle ski resorts. A Baker Lahar would take out suburbs, farmland and BC's busiest freight corridor. Meteorological models show most ash would drift east, sparing downtown Vancouver. But eastern Fraser Valley towns could still be carpet bombed with glassy grit that clogs engines, knocks out power lines, and spikes respiratory ER visits. Even trace ash forces jet reroutes. Why VR depends on the same air lanes. Baker's last magmatic eruption was approximately 6,000 years ago, but it's hardly quiet steam explosions in the mid-1800s, a tenfold heat spike in 1975, and persistent volcanic gases keep scientists twitch ready, usgs.gov. In the risk calculus, hazard recast exposurecation, Baker wins or loses by proximity alone. Two seismic stations sit on Baker's flanks, feeding the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network P. When fumaroles roared in 75, agencies installed extra gear, lowered Baker Lake to catch debris, and closed recreation zones, textbook pre-eruption drills, pubs.usgs.gov. The hype fizzled, 
but the playbook stuck. More sensors, faster alerts. Natural Resources Canada and USGS share every ping. British Columbia's Alert Ready Network can push Lahar evacuation texts in minutes. Abbotsford's flood maps were updated after the 2021 atmospheric river disaster, now double tasked for volcanic mudflows. The mantra, if rain can drown it, lava sludge can too. Mount Baker isn't Canada's most explosive volcano, it's just the closest heavyweight. One well-placed crack could melt a mountain of ice barreling mud across an urban farm mosaic that three million Canadians call home. The upside? Sensors hum, scientists watch, and eruptions rarely ambush without sending tweets through the crust first. Love this blend of adrenaline and geology? Tap subscribe to Beyond Atlas Explore and ride the next seismic update with us before the ground does it for real.